Understanding Florida's property taxes may be a mystery to some, but it is an essential for homeowners aiming to navigate the state's unique tax landscape. Staying informed about legislative changes, economic conditions, and population growth is key to anticipating future trends in property taxes. This knowledge empowers homeowners to make informed decisions, maximize savings, and ensure a secure financial footing in the vibrant Sunshine State. So, let's get to it, free of charge. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for every homeowner in the Sunshine State, Florida's property taxes. So whether you're a first time homeowner or a seasoned resident, understanding property taxes is essential for managing your finances effectively. Before we dive right into the details, let's first establish the basics. In Florida, property taxes are a primary source of revenue for local governments. They fund essential services like schools, infrastructures, and public safety. Now you may be wondering how these taxes are calculated. It involves two main components, the assessed value and the millage rate. Let's begin with the assessed value. The assessed value is the value assigned to your property by the county property appraiser. It's crucial to understand that Florida has a Save Our Homes amendment, which caps the annual increase in assessed value for homesteaded properties at 3% or the consumer price index, whichever is lower. Now, we have the millage rate. This is the rate applied to the assessed value to determine your property tax bill. So, one mil equals one tenth of a cent. So, when you hear about millage rates, it's essentially the rate per thousand dollars of assessed value. Clear as mud? So, here's a scenario to help paint the picture a little more clearly. Let's say you own a home in Sarasota, which is located in Sarasota County. Now let's say your county appraiser looks at your property and determines your home is worth $350,000. You might not owe taxes on the entire value of your property if you qualify for certain exemptions. For example, if you qualify for the homestead exemption, more on that later, which allows you to write off up to $50,000 worth of value from your home, you'll only pay property tax on $300,000 of your home's value. So let's say that the millage rate for Sarasota County is five mils. Remember, one mil equals $1 in property tax for every $1,000 of your home's value. So in this case, you would pay $5 in property tax for every $1,000 of your home's assessed value. Using the property tax example, here's how you would calculate how much you owe. $300,000 divided by the 1,000. Then you multiply that by $5,000. As you can see by this calculation, in this case, you would owe $1,500 in property tax for the year to Sarasota County. If that amount is included in your monthly mortgage payment, that means you'll pay about $125 each month in property taxes as part of your payment. Hopefully your eyes haven't glazed over completely yet. Now moving on. Now let's break down some common property tax exemptions in Florida. The homestead exemption is a significant one for primary homeowners, providing a reduction in the taxable value of your property. Other exemptions include those for veterans, seniors, and individuals with disabilities. One of the most valuable tools for homeowners in Florida is the homestead exemption. This exemption provides a reduction in taxable value of your primary residence, offering significant savings. And so to qualify, you must meet certain criteria. You must own and occupy the property as your primary residence. And the application must be filed by March 1st of the tax year. And lastly, you must be a Florida resident. Now let's talk about the financial benefits of the homestead exemption. The homestead exemption can save you thousands of dollars annually by exempting a portion of your home's assessed value from property taxes. It's essential to understand that this exemption is not automatic. You need to apply for it. And the application process is relatively straightforward, but missing the deadline means you're waiting until the following year, and you definitely do not want to do that. So mark your calendar for that deadline. Remember the Save Our Homes provision we mentioned earlier? That also contributes to limiting the increase in the assessed value for homestead properties. So this helps protect homeowners from drastic spikes in property taxes, providing stability for long-term residents. This was really handy in 2020 and 2021 when homeowners maintained their residence. While the homestead exemption is a significant factor in reducing property taxes, there are other considerations worth exploring. 
Florida allows homeowners to transfer their Save Our Homes benefits when moving to a new primary residence. This is known as portability and it can provide considerable savings if you're upgrading or downsizing. If you own a second home or an investment property, it's important to note that these properties do not qualify for the homestead exemption. These are referred to non-homestead properties and taxes on non-homestead properties may be subject to higher millage rates. If you own agricultural land, you may qualify for an agricultural classification, which can result in lower property taxes. This classification is designed to support Florida's agriculture industry. Businesses in Florida are subject to property taxes on tangible personal property, such as equipment and furnishings. Understanding these taxes is crucial for business owners to manage their expenses effectively. Even with the best understanding and planning, there may be times where you disagree with your property tax assessment. So, what do you do? You can appeal it. The right to appeals process involves presenting evidence to demonstrate that the assessed value is inaccurate. And as with anything, you need to prepare in the case that you appeal. How can you do this? Before filing an appeal, carefully review your assessment notice. Check for errors in the property description, square footage, or any other details that may impact the assessed value. To build a strong case, gather evidence that supports your claim. This could include recent property appraisals, photographs, or documentation of comparable property values in your neighborhood. Follow the procedures outlined by your county's property appraiser for filing a formal appeal. Keep in mind that there are specific deadlines for filing, so act promptly. If navigating the appeals process seems daunting, consider hiring a professional such as a real estate appraiser or tax consultant to assist you. They can provide expertise and guidance to bolster your case. And remember, the appeals process is an opportunity to ensure that your property is assessed fairly and accurately, and it's an important step in protecting your financial interests. Always remember that it's essential to keep an eye on future trends that may impact homeowners. The property tax landscape is dynamic with changes in legislation, economic conditions, and population growth, influencing tax rates and assessments. Stay informed about any changes affecting property tax regulations. The state government periodically reviews and adjusts policies, so being aware of these changes can help you plan accordingly. Economic fluctuations can impact property values, influencing the assessed value of your home. So understanding economic trends in your area can provide insights into potential changes in property taxes. Florida's population continues to grow, leading to increased demand for services and infrastructure. Local governments may adjust millage rates to accommodate these needs, affecting property tax bills. It's imperative when managing your property taxes in Florida that you take a proactive and informed approach. Take advantage of exemptions, understand the appeals process, and stay updated on changes in legislation. By doing so, you can confidently navigate the property tax landscape, ensuring that your investment in your home remains financially sustainable. Until next time. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share so that we can help others just like you who are interested in getting more information about our area.